Okay guys, so there is a new player in the web hosting field called xCloud. So if you're a WordPress aficionado, then this could be the right solution for you. So xCloud will allow you to integrate and manage any cloud provider such as Vulture, Google Cloud, DigitalOcean, Amazon Web Services, and many more. Now this solution was created by two of the biggest players in the WordPress sphere. So if you look at the footer section on their website, here, see what it says, a WP developer creation in partnership with WP Manage Ninja. So again, like I said, these are two of the biggest players in the WordPress sphere. So clearly you are in good hands here. So the main benefit of xCloud is to simplify your WordPress hosting workflows and it's as easy as one, two, three. So first you select your hosting as needed. So either xCloud, Vulture, Google Cloud, etc, etc. Then all you have to do is click create server and then second you can launch your site with just a few clicks of the mouse and get WordPress installed in seconds thanks to xCloud's lightning fast installation process and finally you can manage your server and sites. Very good so now before I show you all these from their panel let's address their pricing structure and they provide flexible pricing for everyone so I have three different options here xCloud managed server manage your own server or lifetime deal so let me show you this option here first so basically this is a fully managed solution and you can customize this the way you want so as you can see this is for personal use just one gigabyte of ROM one virtual CPU and you can increase this as you need as you can see now we have two gig of ROM and then so on so on so the more resources you need you can customize this very easily so with eight gig of ROM this is for busier websites here for bigger busier websites and then right up to high performance needs so you can start from here you can always upgrade to the next one up anyways so next we have manage your own server and as you can see you can start for free so free trial one server 10 sites and then the next one up is five dollars per server if you host two to five servers six to ten is four dollars per server and 11 plus is three dollars per server so again you can create more payless so as you can see here free one server 10 site no credit card required so you can give it a go immediately and test this out and then we have the lifetime deal so again this is a lifetime access so you pay once and that's yours forever which will integrate with any cloud provider you choose so vulture uh, google cloud platform digital ocean and aws so any of them basically so as you can see here, the entry level is 99 for two servers again this is a lifetime deal okay here's 299 for 7, 599 for 15, 999 for 50 and this one I think that's the best option is this one here 250 servers unlimited sites uh, $2,000 basically 1999. Okay so now let me show you how you can set up your server. Okay so all you have to do is basically sign up with them and then you can log into your account and you will land on your dashboard so as you can see it's empty at the moment. So the good news is you can create one server in 10 sites with your free plan. So you can use that. So here, as you can see underneath, we have two options. Add a new server or try xCloud Playground. So this is basically when you have a PayPal account, you can have the sandbox to test things out. It's exactly the same. So all you have to do is click on this. Okay. And as you can see, the demo site will expire in 24 hours after creation. So basically, if you just want to try things out, you can use this. And that's basically it. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard and I'm going to show you how you can create your new server. So add new. And here we have a few different options. As you can see here, you can bring and manage your own server. So you can select Vulture, Digital Ocean, Google Cloud Platform or any other provider. Now, here's the thing. It has to have a Ubuntu installation on it. Okay. Or you can choose hosting managed by xCloud. So this one here. Okay. So that's really up to you. So you have various options here uh, that suit every type of requirements, obviously. And you can start from as little as $5 per month. Now I'm going to show you how to make use of the free plan for now. So right here, as you can see, you're on the xCloud free plan, which includes one server and 10 websites with self-hosting. So to activate this, we have need to add our payment method basically okay so this is what i'm going to do and for this all you have to do is add a payment method and then select your payment provider so i'm just going to go with stripe at the moment and then enter your details so i'm going to do that very quickly and then i'll meet you back again in the dashboard excellent and as you can see now we don't have that message anymore and now we can proceed so we're going to go ahead with xcloud okay so i'll click on this one here so right here we need to put the server name so i'm just going to put mr web okay and then you can add tags so this is to help you out with maybe uh, some type of keywords and all that you know to know exactly what this is related to maybe your customer name or something like this so let's scroll down two different options general or premium so that's as clear as it could be you know so general is basically cost effective server 
and premium is blazing fast so this is really up to you obviously if you select premium the price will go up a little bit okay so i'm just going to go ahead with the, the, the cheapest option at the moment and again you can start from just five dollars per month and you can always upgrade to the next one up uh, based on your requirements up to 88 dollars per month so this one will get a gigantic 16 gig of uh, ram and six virtual cpus so that's quite uh, impressive you know so if you scroll down you can select your data center location and the good thing with them is that they have data center all over the world so as you can see north america europe australia asia africa and south america so depending where you're based you might select one or the other so we are based in ireland so in europe so i'm going to select this one here and now you can select the nearest to you, obviously, you know. So for us, it would probably be London or Manchester, I suppose, you know. So I'm just going to select Manchester. And then you select your database type, so 8.0. And then you can also enable backups for just a dollar per month. So this is really worth it, you know. So if you were to activate this, well, it would only cost you $6 per month instead of 5 So let's go ahead with $6 and let's click Next. And there you go, as you can see, it started setting up our server. So we are at 11% now. So it should take, normally as it says here, 10 to 15 minutes to create your server. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause the video now. And I'll meet you guys again uh, once it's completed. So there you go, guys. That's completed now. So it took a bit less than 15 minutes, you know, maybe 6 or 7 minutes altogether. So it was a bit faster than expected. So right here, as you can see, you have a few different options. What can you do now? We can install a new WordPress website clone a git repository uh, migrate an existing wordpress website manually upload the website or migrate a full server so as you can see they thought of everything literally you know so what i'm going to do now is to show you how you can install wordpress and how fast it is all you have to do is click on this and then from here all you have to do is to type your site title so mr web let's say okay and then you can say if you want to go live immediately or create a staging environment type your domain name so in our case here i create uh, just registered one mr web online okay and then if you scroll down you see here you have to add those a records and this is just to make sure that you own the domain name obviously you know so let me show you how you can do that so i've registered that with hosting or it could be with anyone you know and then you go to manage your dns and they can add a record so the a record is this one and then you can uh, add the name here okay so this is the one and then we have the ip address as well i'm going to change the ttl to 60 so it's applied immediately and then add the record there you go and if you scroll down you will see here the air record and now it's pointing to xcloud obviously you know and now if we come back here we can click on verify my dns and there you go as you can see dns record uh, successfully confirmed and now we can enable https as well and as you can see they provide free ssl certificate issued and managed by xcloud themselves and then you can enable a few of those features here as well you know like full page caching a redis object caching and so on so let's move on to the next step and there you go as you can see it's setting up our website at the moment so we're at 27 percent 33 percent so i'm just going to pause here again and skip to the next step and there you go guys you can see this is installed so we're version 6.4.3 so let's have a quick look so i'm just going to open this in a new tab and there it is so wordpress is installed so what i would like to do now is to test the performances see how fast this thing is you know so what i'm going to do is to install a full website with content basically using astra or something like this okay so i'm going to do that very quickly now and if you wanted to access the back end of your website your wordpress dashboard you can simply do so from here without needing any credentials so click on magic login and there you go so i'm going to do that very quickly i'm going to install a full template here so there you go i've installed a complete e-commerce website with a demo content and let's have a quick look what it looks like now very good so that's quite fast to be honest you know so what we're going to do now is put this to the test okay so we're going to test this with google page speed insight and also a gt metric so let's run those two together so put the url here test your site very good so let's find out and there you go guys you can see grade a which is absolutely perfect 96 percent performances and let's find out what google says well we have a 93 score on desktop and mobile 66 so this can be improved this is probably done not so much to the hosting provider themselves but most likely to the html and css code that's built in which can be improved obviously you know so that's not too bad altogether out of the box uh, 93 and then here grade a 
So this is very good performances indeed. Now bear in mind that we have the cheapest plan, as you can see, one gig of RAM and only one virtual CPU. That's the cheapest at five dollars. You know, now imagine what would happen if you were to go even for this one with four gig of RAM and two virtual CPUs. Or this one, this would get you probably a hundred percent here and one hundred here as well. You know, so again, it's not bad at all for the entry level plan. All right, guys. So why should you choose XCloud over any other providers? Okay, so let me give you eight different reasons and then you can decide for yourself, okay? So first, well, this platform here, xCloud, offers solid team management capabilities, allowing users to efficiently collaborate and delegate tasks. It's also compatible with any caching plugin provider on the market right now. Also, with xCloud, you can create unlimited numbers of websites under one single server while providing flexibility and scalability. They have automated themes, plugins, and WordPress core updates. And this one is a big one as well. They have email integration with any providers, plus 100 free emails and email bundles. And they provide site backup with remote storage. So that's quite unique, you know, remote storage. And their platform is super user-friendly, as you've seen, you know, and everything is quite intuitive. Now, if you don't like dark mode, don't worry, you can change this in your profile section as well. And as we've demonstrated it already, it's quite affordable. When you see all you get for just $5 already, so this is quite fantastic, isn't it? So there you go, guys. That's all about xCloud. So if you'd like to give it a go, as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.